Hello everyone, this is Mecha Majeur, bringing you part 14 of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, as you can see right now, we are in the hub world of Isle Delfino. And since we have to come here a lot, I figured, why not get the shines while we're here? As, now that we have all the nozzles unlocked, we can, in fact, get all the shines. Now, uh, I'm predicting around 10, 11 shines we're gonna get in this part. Because uh, some of them are just really easy and really like right in your face, so this is definitely going to be this is going to be a fun this is going to be a fun part. Just the amount of shines we're going to get, and this has some of the most fun and easy, but also some of the hardest and longest. So we're just going to have to wait it out and see how it goes. But right there, I already got a shine, and we need another shine in about 20 seconds. Ah, come on, skip, skip, skip. There we go. Uh, another one is actually right over here. I'm honestly astonished how easy it is to get this. Ready? You ready? Got another shine. Do you see how easy this is? Like, I wish all of them were this easy. That'd be well, no, actually, I don't, because then the game wouldn't be any fun, because it'd just be too easy. But as you can see, there's definitely some. Uh, it's more of just progressing to the point where you can use them, not really just. Uh, you know, an actual challenge to get them. Uh, it's like, well, oh, hey, you got the rocket nozzle. Oh, well, then here, these three shines are super easy now. Go ahead and go for it. It's more like that, you know. And now, actually, there are some bells that are dirty, and you can actually spray it off. Now, make sure you're spraying in a spot where it's actively removing them. Like as you can see, there's like a bunch of yellow stuff around where I'm spraying, so you can tell that it's actively getting off the grease. And once it's cleaned off. That'll give us yet another shine. We're just gonna, we're seriously gonna go and at least, at least ten. I'm hoping to get. If I can do that, I'd be extremely happy. And there's another shine. All right, up to thirty-seven. We're definitely gonna break forty. Maybe we'll. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm just gonna see how many I can cram into fourteen minutes, fifteen minutes. Hopefully enough. And now there is in fact a second bell directly across from where that one was if we just take a left instead of a right right over here and uh, once we do that actually something very interesting will happen if you clean off both bells which I think is a very nice touch they have a lot of small uh, detail things in this game and uh, they're just really cool so we're gonna go ahead and clean this one off like you, it's gonna be really cool like once you see it you know what I mean to see it once you hear what's gonna happen what do you guys think is gonna happen when we clean off all the bells? What do you uh, what do you think is gonna happen? Something special is gonna happen, and that shine goes down for some reason. So we're gonna have to use the sewers to uh, gain entrance to that. And now there is in fact a uh, hundred corn star in the hub world. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, and uh, I'll probably get that at the end, like I usually do, along with the blue coins. So, oh. And that reminds me, um, one of my subs uh, subscribers, Perpetual Daydreamer, me and him have come up with uh, where all the coins go after you get a shine. So, Mario lives in the Mushroom Kingdom, right? And he needs the coins in order to pay his rent, because rent in the Mushroom Kingdom isn't cheap. And he lives in an apartment with pizza boxes everywhere with his brother Luigi. So, yep, yeah. yeah. Originally, when I said that, I was just trying to make like a sexual innuendo with Peach, you know, but I really, I really couldn't think of anything at that time. But then a potential daydreamer decided to go, "Hey, I've actually thought of something funny you could say," and I'm like, "You're absolutely right." And that's, that's honestly, fun. like, can you just imagine like Mario and Luigi just in a apartment, like with pizza boxes everywhere, and Mario like in a tank top on the couch scratching his stomach, like, "Oh, Luigi, did you get this bunch of rent?" Like, I just think, actually thinking on it, Luigi probably wouldn't even live there. He has a mansion. He doesn't need Mario's shitty little apartment. Dude, Perpetual Daydreamer, thank you so much for coming up with that. Because that, that just honestly made my day. Oh, and listen here for a second. Come on. Hear the bells? From now on, every time we uh, finish a star, we will hear those bells playing since we clean them off and personally I think that's a really nice touch so it's like the little things they do in this game just make it so amazing 
Oh. Uh, in case you're wondering why, uh, I just find Perpetual Daydream. Sh yeah, shout out to Pitch. Shout out to Perpetual Daydreamer, because he's just so awesome. Like, in all honesty, like, whenever I see a comment that's left by, uh, Perpetual Daydreamer, uh, I'm just gonna call him PD from now on, because saying Perpetual Daydreamer every time is kind of it's long. So whenever he leaves a message, like a comment, I'm always excited, because I actually, like, remember him. You know, because, like, he leaves comments frequently enough. And, like, they're, u they're usually, you know, good comments. It's not just, like, cool story, bro, or nice part. It's actually something relevant. And since he does it enough, I've just come to recognize uh, his username. So whenever he leaves a comment, I'm always like, oh, cool, he, he responded. Oh, I wonder what he says, you know? And now, don't worry. You all can be Meckle's friends, too. You just, you just gotta leave comments, you know, more frequently. And, you know... Like, you can leave a comment, like, once or twice, but as long as it's, like, interesting and funny, I'm probably gonna remember your username, so. Just a shout-out to PD, because you're awesome, my friend. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everyone who takes the time to subscribe, who subscribe to me and just to watch me play video games, you know? I mean, I don't know how many other people would do that, but for the almost 400 of you, actually, I've almost accumulated, I thank every one of you. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be here without you guys. And I'm honestly surprised I still have that many. I thought by now people would have been like, oh, there's like a billion LPs. This guy's not special, but you guys think I'm special, so thank you. You make me feel really special. I appreciate that. All right. And as you can see, we've gotten like seven shines in like what? what, what? Oh, it's over there. Now, it's really hard to navigate these things uh, using this nozzle, but... Ah, oh, dang it. I might have to go back and get the hover nozzle if I can't do this. Because this is actually kind of difficult to do. But I'm, a uh, Oh, yes. Thank you for grabbing onto that. And that's, uh... How long has it been? It's been about seven minutes. And we've gotten seven shines. That's about a shine a minute, guys. That's, that's, that's amazing time. Yeah, these shines are pretty easy. And they're pretty fun, too. It's not just, like, you know, boring stuff. Well, it's kind of... Whatever. You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. Uh, alright. So, um, there's actually a few, uh, hidden shines that take place in a different, like, kind of a mini-game area. And, uh, I guess I'll show that one next. Uh, if we go over here, you might have noticed before, again, on these annoying things... Which are really hard to navigate without, uh, without using a nozzle. That's not going to make it in the pipe. Darn it. Oh well. But as you can see, we go to this giant slide. Way up there. And don't be intimidated. It's really easy. It's, it's really easy. There are three shines which I consider to be semi-difficult. Well, if there's any hard shines, it's going to be those three, because those are the hardest shines. And one of them, actually, some people consider to be the hardest in the game, so that'll be fun to get. And there's another shine. 42 shines. 42, the meaning of life. A great number of shines to have. Uh, let's see, where else do we need to get shines from? Like, I usually I plan what I'm going to do, but for this one, I just figured it, it, it's Isle Delphi, you know, I'll just get random shines. I'm just trying to think of uh, what shines. Oh, I know one we can get. If we go over here, there's actually a little interesting guy we can meet. Let's go right in here. Hello there, sir. Break all the crates for a prize. Okay. So this guy says break all the crates to get a prize. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mackle. We have no idea what this prize could possibly be. Please fill us in on what this prize can be. Well,. You obviously couldn't guess it, but it was a shine. I mean, that was just... There's just no way you could have seen that coming. It was a shine. We only have... 40, 43 now. We, 42. We really need another one. But no, we're going to get all 120 shines. And by the way, we're past a third of the way there now. So that's awesome. Oh, uh, yep. Past a third of the way there. We're honestly making pretty good time with this. What I'm probably going to end up doing is doing the uh, 100 coin star blue coins, because there aren't, there aren't 30 blue coins here. And the 100 coin shine is actually pretty easy. 
so I'll probably do that and then the three other shines I'm gonna be missing if I manage to get the rest of these now amazingly he actually has a second challenge for you to come do where you're getting another shine and he even has a third challenge unfortunately the third challenge will not relinquish you a shine so there isn't too much point in doing it so unless you feel like doing some superfluous work I would recommend just uh, just not even bothering and it makes me kinda wonder if if he goes outside and notices that all his people are dying why does he have two shines here just to hold for himself like is, is, is his business that bad that he has to be like come to my shop or die I, that's a good slogan I mean I bet a lot of people are gonna go to his shop because no one really likes to die but that's just you know that's just my guess uh, what shines do we have to do next? Uh, oh, I don't know what shine. The next shine we gotta do. We're gonna need the turbo nozzle. Just run over here. And, uh. Nothing really rhymes with nozzle. Damn it. I didn't think I had with that rhyme. Anyway, if you go in here with the turbo nozzle, we can, uh, run across. And this is one of the cooler. This is one of my favorite shines to get. Because there's nothing really else quite like it where you just kind of run across. And personally, I think right here a loopy loop would have been awesome. Or have, you know, something else with like a loopy loop besides a roller coaster. Like, the turbo nozzle can definitely handle a loopy loop, but. Whatever. Another shine. And I think I'm just gonna get one more. And that should do it for this episode. Uh, just off the top of my head, there's only one more that I think I can get that won't take me. Wait, what did I just do? Did I just hit save and quit? I better not have hit, like, quit and don't save. Okay, it was save and quit. Okay, that scared me for a second when I saw the, uh, title screen. I thought, what did I just do? Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah, all we have left to do is get one last shine, which we need a coin for. And uh, the main ways to get coins is to either go underground, look for an open window, like that, and spray it with water, or look for a wanted sign, and then also spray it with water. And that'll get you some coins. And we're just going to want to go over here. I'm not going to make that. I'm not even going to bother trying. There we go. Now there's actually a uh, enemy who's kind of a, uh, oh, what do you call it, a... Uh, He's a for he's foreshadowing what's to come. If you talk to him, he says, throw me a coin and I'll throw you for a loop. And he'll literally throw you. And there's another shine. Now he's foreshadowing because there are people who actually do that. You know, for a, for a living in a certain world. That makes one particular shine quite hard to get. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, luckily, going to the title screen, teams have created just enough time for me to end the part at a pretty decent time. So, in the next part, I'll finish up getting uh, all the shines in Isle Delfino. Uh, you guys can like, you can comment, you can subscribe, you can do whatever you like. You can even dislike if you really hated it that much. Do whatever you want. But until next time, I will see you then. Adios.